Let's cross now to New York. My colleague Jody Jacobs watching the space there. Jody, it is voting day. This day has finally come. How are things shaping up in New York? Well, good day to you from a very fall um, New York City, or should I say autumn for the South African uh, viewers out there. Harlem, um, I'm s situated in Harlem this morning. Obviously, a city we're not seeing very long queues, actually, might I add. But I think that many people had participated in those early voting that, con that continued for weeks before this election. So not a lot of people actually snaking around this particular voting station here in Harlem. But we have seen a lot of people come in and out, young, old, first-time voters as well. And there's always these cheers when you, and obviously it's now not going to happen since we've just gone live, but um, you would hear cheers as people would come out of the voting station and if they were first-time voters. We are here in Harlem. It's a predominantly blue part of, of, of New York and Polls suggest that it's going to remain that way. During 2016, 59% um, of votes here in this particular part of New York City going to um, the Democrats, only about 36% going to the Republicans back there. Harlem is a very special place, especially for South Africans, steeped in history, been together with um, South Africa since around 1946 already um, in the fight against apartheid. So there's a lot of South Africans African anecdotes also here from this particular borough where I'm reporting from. We will all know Maria Makeba, Yuma Sikela walked these streets of Harlem um, for many, many years while they were in exile. And our very own Sophia Town in, 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 in Johannesburg was also for many years known as Little Harlem. And that is as a result of the type of music that was played, but also with that fight against or the anti-apartheid struggle that had taken place here in Harlem. So people are very, very excited to be voting, I must say. We've spoken to quite a few people here, many of them very excited about making their, their mark. A lot of them, as predicted, are voting for the Democratic Party. Many of the utterances outside this particular voting station, and as you walk through the streets of, of, of Harlem, people would say, we are not voting for Donald Trump. But obviously, at the end of the day, it's all down to the numbers, and it's all down to what many now know as the swing states, and that is going to be the deci decider um, going into this election. Many people watching those seven um, swing states in the United States of America to see which way they literally swing, and that will decide who will be the next president and who will hold the keys to the Oval Office.